Jesse is Hi. is it hello? Jesse is a data and scholarly communication librarian from the University of Hong Kong Libraries. He oversees the research data services team and the HKU Scholars Hub team to provide the data and to provide data, the data and scholarly communication services. Welcome, Jesse. Have you got, do you want to put your slides up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you see my slides? Can you see your slides? Yes. Yeah, so thanks for the introduction and uh, thank you very much to give the opportunity to present. So um, my name is Jesse Xiao, data and scholarly communication librarian from the University of Hong Kong Libraries. So my presentation topic is about uh, research data services in our libraries. So, so uh, this is the landscape of the scholarly communication the research support in our library. So which include the uh, bibliometric and the research impact services and, and learn the maintain the developer, the Hong Kong U institutional repository, scholars hub and the data repository data hub. So for the uh, open research, so we subscribe the tools and the platform to promote and, and, and provide the training to promote the open research. So for the open access, so we negotiate with the different publisher to sign the transfer, transformative agreements and provide the APC discount to Hong Kong Youth Scholars. So for the open publishing, so we create the uh, open journal system for Hong Kong Youth Open Access Journals. And for and the last one is the research data. So we provide the research data services to manage the university research data. So nowadays, so the researchers are facing on the uh, reproduce, rep reproducibility crisis issues. So from this nature paper, so it shows like more than 70% uh, of researchers have tried and failed to reproduce other scientist experiments. And more than half have failed to reproduce their own experiments. So the academic publishing is changing, so we should this the constructing a paper into the into accessible, usable, trackable, and the interlinked unit. So that means so we need to provide the credit to reward sharing for not only narrative, so also include the data, software, workflow, protocol, etc. So the traditional publishing is focused on uh, narratives, but beyond the narrative, so we should also have the data tools. So um, uh, nowadays we have uh, more and more data journals, so such as uh, Data in Brief, Scientific Data, Geek Science, uh, etc. And, all, and also we have a lot of repository, so including the domain uh, specific data repository and the general uh, repository, such as uh, Fixture, Dryer. So and the researcher can also use the institutional data repository to store and share the research data. So in our uh, university, so we have the data repository, uh, Hong Kong U Data Hub. So our university has the research data and the record uh, management policies. So it mentions the university recognize that the accurate and the retrievable research data are essential components of any research project and necessary to verify and defend. And it also mentioned the research data and the records should be retained for as long as they are of continually value and the minimal retention period is three years. So, um, and based on our data policy, so we have the uh, research data services platform. So it integrated all data services and the functions. So the students and the researchers can log in to submit the data management plan and then the supervisor and the department head can also log in to approve it. So the platform linked with the data repository and data hub and DMP tools and provide our data workshop news. So we also have the uh, DMP tool at Hong Kong UL platform. So it is the DMP tools platform to help the researcher to prepare the data management plan. And we set the DMP template for the students and the, and the researchers. So until now, so we get more than 2,000 active users and more than 3,000 submitted DMPs. 
So every semester we will host the data management plan workshop for the student and the staff. And uh, for the Hong Kong U Data Repository, Data Hub, so it's a comprehensive institutional repository for research data and other forms of scholarly output. So we launched the repository uh, two years before. So it's based on the uh, fixture platform. So there are several features for our uh, our data repository based on the fixture features. So such as you can assess your data anywhere. So by default, every every student and staff have one hundred gigabyte, and then the maximum storage is one terabyte. So you can get credit for the data sharing. You will get the DOI. So you can reserve the DOI before your data get published. So you you can also set the uh, uh, confidential or embargo period for your data. So um, in our um, data repository, so we have some we have set some uh, specific data curation workflow, and our library research data team will provide the basic data curation services to make sure the published data are fulfilled the file data principle with the enriched metadata. So the data hub is registered in the i3data.org and the file sharing. And also all data set in data hub is follow the uh, data site metadata standard and can be searched in the Google data set search. And for the published data set in our data hub, and here is the example. So it like the, um, like the data set published in the fixture. So we have the DOI, we have virtual control, have different metric keyword categories. And also we have some funding information for our researcher get funding from RGC uh, university grant com grants committees. And also the, for the lessons, so by default is uh, CC by NC. So we will encourage the uh, researcher and the student to link the data to their peer-reviewed public publications. So this is the example. So for our data curation workflow, so we will check the metadata, we will check the uh, readme file. So to ensure the readme uh, contains some uh, key components such as title, study description, yes, active, access requirement, contact information and uh, the basic methods. So all, uh, all the information should be, uh, all the information for the readme file should be saved in the uh, TST format. And also we will also check, check the approval code concern form and the ethical application form uh, to, to address the uh, ethical issues. So with the uh, fixture data preview uh, future, so user can easily preview the data on the web browser. So such as video, map, 3D model, and the, the large zip file. So the data set in our data repository is not the uh, single. So it will be linked with other uh, system or other uh, platform. So such as the data hub integrated with Oki, so all the published data set will show in the researcher Oki profile. And also the data set can link with the publication, so it will add to our university research output system. And also the data hub will integrate with the new, uh, our new scholars hub, which is the institutional repository. So the student thesis will link with their research data and the data management plan in the e thesis collection in the scholars hub. So um, uh, this one is the traditional research circle. So the researcher, uh, so the research staff from the hypothesis and then go to the experimental design and then generate data, do some analysis, get the result, and then publish in the journals. So any other researcher can uh, assess the article to get the new hypothesis. So in this model, so the articles like this woman to show the result, but you can only look but cannot touch it. So the reproducible research circle is 
uh, is start is also start from hypothesis and then go to the experimental design and get the raw data. So the raw data can be processed and clean while the code and our program. And after that, the, the tidy data can further analysis to get the result. Then the result can be published in in some journals. So the, so the researcher can develop the code via some uh, open research tools and platforms such as Python or R and learn open and publish the code in our data repository or any other uh, repository. So for the uh, tidy data, so the researcher can also open and publish the data in our data repository and the link with the article. So for the article itself, so the researcher can deposit the preprint or postprint version in our institutional repository. So in future, so those open access and sharing and the publishing data manners will have the new forms of research impact, so which can be do which can be treated as the new uh, um, uh, research impact services. So in this circle, so when the users assess the article here, so they so they not only get the results from the PDF, so they can also they can also practice the workflow, run the tools and the code to regenerate the fake. Also, they can download data, including the raw data and the process data, to reanalyze the data. So the last slide shows the infrastructure landscape for our library research support and the scholarly communication services. So we have the uh, 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 Scholars Hub, so institutional repository to display the, uh, the HKU research output and show our research impact. So until now we have like more than 100 thousands articles and then have more than 20 thousand uh, postgraduate thesis uh, which is open access in our uh, scholars hub. So we also have the data hub to manage, archive, and publish the research data. So, uh, so we have around uh, more than 900 data set, published data sets. And also we have the DMP tools, DMP platforms, so to provide the services for the researcher to generate the data management plan. And also we build the e-journal platform to promote the open research, uh, open publishings via the open journal system platform. So uh, uh, until now we have one journal which is ongoing in our um, platform. So for the bibliometric and the research impact services, so uh, we are creating the research intelligence hub, so which we are using the uh, research metric data from different sources, such as several inside ESI dimensions and some open uh, metric source, such as Open Alex and such as CrossRef, to provide the comprehensive research impact report in the researcher level, department, faculty level, and the university level for our uh, university scholars. So the uh, the next one is the research information management system. So uh, we are responsible for de deploying and managing the new university research information management system with other stakeholder. So the last one is the open access. So we are so we are focusing on the transformative agreement with uh, and the OA requirement from the Hong Kong government and the funders. Yes. So uh, that's all for my presentation and I'm happy to take any questions. So you can also uh, uh, contact me via this email address. Hi, thanks Jesse. That, that was a really, really great presentation here and really clear. I'm just gonna say somebody's given you a little bit of kudos in the chat. What a fantastic comprehensive workflow. The integrations are very impressive. It's always very nice to get great feedback. So a couple of questions in here. Well, one question that some two people have asked. <clears throat> people are wanting to know how many staff are in the team that provides the research data services? Uh, how many staff? So uh, actually yeah. we have only uh, one professional, professional staff is me. And also we have uh, two library assistants, which is supporting staff. Goodness, it sounds like libraries are really good. Um, I've got another question coming up. Except for the DMP workshop, do you offer other training for researchers? Uh, uh, pardon, so, uh, 
Um, can you repeat, please? Oh, sorry. sorry. It, apart from the data uh, management plan workshop, do you offer other training for researchers? Uh, yes, of course. So we open, so we offer uh, the uh, open research tools training, and also, and also we all offer some uh, open data training for our researchers, such as the the basic programming skills. So using the Python, using the R, and Open Refine, and etc. So we are host um, uh, several uh, research data trainings for our students and the staff uh, every semesters. Okay. Um so given that, is, is this quite a new team, given that it's quite a small team at this point? Yeah, yes, yes. So we are quite want to expand my team. So because we are also mm -hmm. doing some other services, as I mentioned before, so we also have the uh, institutional repository and also we have the yeah. bibliometric and research impact services. So we, uh, so we want to get more people to join uh, in our team to provide the better services, yes. Yes, yes, it's all quite labor intensive sometimes. Well, that's great. Uh, if there's any more questions for Jason, Padlet's looking a bit slow. I think that's it. Thank you so much, Jesse. That was a great presentation. Um,